Am I the asshole? For leaving a pregnant woman outside? Okay so I am autistic and my sister asked me if I could come over to her house to babysit her while she and her husband went out on a much needed date night. I had some reservations about this and I've never supervised the kids alone, she usually brought them to my parents house and my parents mainly watched them while I did my thing but also kept an eye on them and kept them entertained, however my sister assured me that all will be well, and she'll write me a list of instructions to follow and it will be easy. I asked if I could have a friend over with me but she said no and under no circumstances am I to allow strangers in her house. Anyways, three hours in and a pregnant lady comes knocking and she was distressed looked like she wasn't feeling well told me she's the next door neighbor and that she forgot her keys at home and has no place to stay until her husband comes back, she also told me that she's dizzy and not feeling well. I felt very conflicted on one hand I didn't know this woman and wasn't sure if she was telling the truth about being my sister's neighbor. So I didn't think letting her in was an option I called my sister many times to ask permission to let this woman in but she didn't pick up on the other hand I didn't feel comfortable leaving her in that state outside in the cold. I tried calling my parents too, but they didn't pick up. I was basically left to decide on my own. I brought out a chair to the porch and told her she can sit there and wait for her husband if she'd like I also offered her some water and food but she politely declined and decided to wait outside her house. She proceeded to wait two hours till her husband came back and I saw her crying at some point. I felt so bad but I felt like my hands are tied I tried calling my sister and parents many many times but no one picked up. When my sister came home later that night, I told her what happened and she lashed out on me calling me an idiot and saying when she told me not to allow strangers and she didn't think that she needed to tell me her 7 month pregnant neighbor in distress was an exception to the rule. My parents also later reprimanded me on taking everything so literally and being an idiot. Am I the asshole? Update Since everyone is asking why she didn't go to another neighbor, while I'm not sure why exactly, I'm gonna explain the layout of the houses in my sister's neighborhood a bit. So basically there are three houses that are close to each other my sister's, the pregnant woman's, and another house. There are more houses down the road but they are kind of far behind within walking distance but she wouldn't be able to see her husband pull up from there I think maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know, but it is possible that she went to the other house near us and got turned down there before she came to me. I didn't ask her. Okay first of all UDF doesn't answer the calls from the person watching their children? That's disturbing yikes. You're not an idiot for following rules given to you about someone else home. That's insane. Never babysit for your sister again. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and I'd tell your sister that if she's not going to answer her phone when you are responsible for her kids, you will not be watching them again. Honestly not the asshole because you were following instructions. You had no way of knowing who this woman was or if she was telling the truth. She didn't think that she needed to tell me her 7 month pregnant neighbor in distress was an exception to the rule. Uh. Actually yeah she didn't need to specify that. She told you no strangers, and she was a stranger to you. How would you know if she was actually the neighbor, you don't live here. Let's be honest, if something happened to the kids because of her she would have blamed you for letting her inside, pregnant and distressed or not. Not the asshole. However, couldn't you ask the kids if they recognized her? You haven't specified their age or if they are verbal so I'm just asking. Not the asshole. Unless it was freezing cold. Or super hot, giving her a chair and offering water so she can wait outside is all you needed to do for the neighbor. Your sister absolutely should have answered her phone, though, while you were watching her kids. That's not okay I would not watch her kids again. Wait why are they reprimanding her? She did what was asked of her. I'm also autistic and I'd probably do the same thing in your shoes. So maybe I'm not the best of judge in his situation. Not the asshole I do not know if it's the same where you live. But here it's common for women, mothers, older women, pregnant ladies to come and knock and ask for help with something inconsequential and later commit crimes mostly robbery. You did right by not opening up the door, if something had happened to the kids they would have undoubtedly blamed you. I would have assumed your family members to understand this honestly maybe think twice before babysitting your sister's kids again. Not the asshole, your sister parents are absolutely wrong to attack you over this. They know you're very literal minded if there were to be any exceptions, that should have been made plain up front. No people in her house means no people in her house, within the limitations of that hard rule you did what you could to be helpful. Not the asshole you didn't know her, and you weren't comfortable letting her into the home and your sister didn't answer the phone. 
What strikes me as odd is why didn't she seek help from any other neighbors? Not the asshole. People have used this as a scam to get into people's houses before. You did what you were told. Your sister wasn't available when you called, which someone needs to be if you're watching their children. You don't know her neighbors and can't be expected to make accommodations for people you don't know strangers. Not your fault, you did your job. Not the asshole. This is a common tactic used by thieves. You use a pregnant woman, because who wouldn't want to help a pregnant woman? You did the right thing. The only thing you may have done, is ask her a question only she would know to verify that she was telling the truth. Other than that you acted responsibly. As a father of four children with autism you're not the asshole. Although I understand your sister and parents complaint to not take everything so literally. I can headbutt myself about that on many occasion. But it's just the way your brain works. You didn't know the neighbor, you had clear orders about strangers. You even tried to inform your sister and parents which is very good. You were willing to help. Chances could be she was a crook, and then what would your sister say? Not the asshole. You were trusted with your sister's children and took precaution to ensure their safety. Tough circumstance, but you did the right thing. Nta, I agree with all the regardless of date night or not need to be available to the one person who is their kids. Not the asshole. You are not an idiot, you did your best and your sister should have answered her phone when her babysitter was calling. Definitely not the asshole. If your sister had answered and could have proven it was actually her neighbor, it would have been fine to let her in, but you didn't know this woman. Not everyone is who they say they are. And honestly, your sister is a giant offer not answering the phone the entire night what if it had been an emergency with her child? And your parents didn't answer either? What's wrong with your family? Not the asshole. Autistic or not the rule was very clear, no strangers in the house is everybody that you don't know. I would have definitely done the same. How are you supposed to know your sister's neighbors? Or that this wasn't a very common scam? They are completely out of line to treat you like that. Not the asshole you did what you were told to do and kept the safety of those children a priority. The situation about the woman's keys inside her home is unfortunate but not your responsibility to fix. Also, TA is your sister for not picking up the phone after multiple calls if something had happened with with kids she would have been unreachable. What parent doesn't answer the phone when their babysitter calls? It if it's date night, those are your kids and that's your home and are always a priority. Not the asshole. You did what she told you to do. It sounds like your parents and sister don't understand autism otherwise they would know you take things literally and have a very difficult time recognizing exceptions to rules. And it was irresponsible of your sister to not answer your phone calls. She could have prevented the situation if she had answered or called you back quickly. Not the asshole. You were put in an impossible situation you didn't know the neighbor. So how are you to know this wasn't a scam to get inside the house? You did everything you reasonably could for her in the circumstances. Also, your sister is an asshole for not picking up her phone while her kids are with a babysitter, especially a new one. You were calling her about an emergency not a kid emergency, but still an emergency. At no time in those two hours did she look at her phone and see the missed calls? Did your parents not, either? If I were you I would not babysit for her again. But not the asshole. Thieves use many tactics to get in. You were entrusted with children. Just because this woman happened to be a neighbor, you still did the right thing as you don't know who your sister's neighbors are. It does bother me that your sister was unreachable and left her kids with you. That was a nah move because what if there had been an emergency with one of the kids? Do not babysit for her if she does not pick up her phone during it. Not the asshole. You did what you were told, and even offered her a chair food water. Why she didn't try another neighbor is beyond me. Not the asshole. Call 911 next time. New title parents and sister have known with me for 19 years, pushed me into something they all knew wasn't my thing, and when I acted predictably they freaked. Not the asshole is your sister the only neighbor in the area? Are there no stores nearby? Pregnant women can be dangerous too and you don't know her. You did the right thing. Not the asshole. You did not know if this woman was lying and how on earth did your sister ignore your calls the first time you babysit for her? She is the ah here. Not the asshole. You did what you were told. You aren't a mind reader. Not the asshole. It's her neighbor not yours. To you is just a stranger. Don't ever babysit for that ungrateful bee ever again. And you could basically call CPS since your sister left her baby with someone with no expertise on how to take care of a baby. Not the asshole. If you did anything wrong, 
It was going outside at all. For all you knew, the pregnancy was a pillow, and there was a man with a weapon just out of sight, ready to rush you when the door opened. Not the asshole, but your family sure is. You had the responsibility for your sister's young kids and you didn't knew the neighbor. That could have been a scam too. And your sister should have made sure to be available for you, in case there was something important. Oh dear lord and at all your family were the only idiots in this scenario and how exactly did anyone in your family expect you to know your sister's neighbors? Also they left their kids with you and what if an accident had happened with them being total complete morons not answering their phones they are the only jerks here period. Not the asshole. You did exactly what you were told. She was a stranger to you. You had no way of knowing she was actually a neighbor. Not the asshole. You don't know that person and it's not like you didn't help at all. Not the asshole. I actually took a babysitting course when I was maybe 12, and it had a whole section on safety. They told us not to answer the door to people if the parents didn't give us a heads up that they were coming. Or that even when someone calls claiming to be the grandmother, don't say that you're alone with the kids BC it could be a complicated family situation. There are actual crimes that are committed with decoys like this. Unfortunately, it's a thing. Also, your sister should have been checking her phone. What if there was an emergency? They're being irresponsible and blaming you for it. Not the asshole. This sounds exactly like something I would do. I'm also autistic and when I get instructions I follow them to a T even in situations like this where many people might have thought well, of course this is an exception to the instructions I was given because. I also don't realize until later that oh, yeah, I guess I could have tried X or Y. You did your best, and I think it's unfair that people are now upset with you, 